Hello and welcome back everyone. In today's video I'm going to be going over what I consider to be the best tips in Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Now these tips are going to be very helpful between the rounds 1 through 10. So be sure to stick around and watch this video all the way through because you are not going to want to miss any of these tips. And if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and jump in to the best tips in Black Ops Cold War Zombies. And I'm going to start this list off with the absolute best one in my opinion to getting the max points per zombie kill instead of getting 90 on some kills and trying to get the headshot on every kill to get the 115 just use the knife as your loadout class and with using the knife between round 1 through 10 it is a one hit kill guaranteeing you to getting that 115 points per zombie kill. And on to the next one, which is the loose change. A lot of you might already know about this. Some of you may not. So in case you don't, I just threw this one in there as well. All you're going to want to do is go up to the perk machine and completely go prone. And you will get 100 points per machine, giving you a total of 600 points. Or if you have double points activated during that time, you can do the same thing and get 200 points. So you could get a grand total of 1200 extra points for basically doing nothing and with this next one I'm sure everyone knows you can hit or shoot the crystals when in the dark ether and you can get points you can get salvage you can get weapons but you can also get perks you can get free perks by shooting the crystals now also keep in mind when getting the 100 points from shooting the crystals if you do have double XP activated you will get 200 points and with this next one I have already covered this and made a video of this on my channel but I also wanted to throw this in because it is very helpful when trying to get extra perks and just trying to save your points uh, it is shooting the five orbs in the particle accelerator room getting the zombie dancing cutscene and getting the free perk. Me, myself, I've gotten jug out of it every single time I've done this, so I don't know if that's just me or if that's for everyone. But you also have the chance of getting the Wonder Weapon or the Ray Gun. I've not gotten lucky enough to get either when doing this, so hopefully you can. But I thought it was also a great tip to throw in there. And there you have it. That is what I consider to be the absolute best tips when playing zombies, especially in rounds 1 through 10, to potentially make it a lot easier and for you to upgrade your weapons a lot faster to where by the time you reach round 10, you should potentially have at least both of your guns upgraded once, have majority of the perks you might want, and just make it a better match for you in the next match of zombies you go to play. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did find it to be helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button below. And if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate that very much as well. So I just want to say thanks for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video.